Good evening, Jessica Van Vonderen with ABC News. As heavy rains continue to pummel Townsville, authorities have taken the unprecedented step of ordering water releases from its major dam. The drastic move is likely to cause even more houses to flood. Residents are being urged to evacuate. Opening the floodgates, a result of unprecedented torrential rain across the region. The Ross River Dam is now more than 180 per cent full. Authorities say they had little choice, even though it would risk flooding 90 more homes. We know that the Ross River has hit a new milestone in terms of um, outflows out into the ocean. The council has not taken this decision lightly but it is the right decision. Police went door to door, urging residents in the firing line to get out. Some have been taken to dry ground, others choosing to stay. Now our big worry is the dam being open, so yeah, fingers crossed that doesn't come up too high for us. We haven't had to do anything yet, but yeah, it's just that we don't know what's going to happen. The drastic action preparation for more severe weather predicted across the weekend. In the supermarkets, there's little left on shelves. This is a one in 100 year flood. The vast bulk of the population will not have experienced this type of event in their lifetime. So far, crews have performed almost 30 rescues and dozens of houses are now damaged. The unprecedented rain triggered an early morning landslip at Woolgaroo. South of the city, a bird's eye view captures the extent of the disaster at Garoo. Residents who were evacuated a few days ago from Blue Water are now enduring round two. Wednesday it was up to here. So that was your first flood? That was our first flood. The last night it come up that high. Ralph Murphy's home is in shambles. His prized collection of model cars severely damaged. The muddy water rose within minutes, catching most off guard. I was just um, having a lorry lie down in the van and um, I heard water coming. I could hear a rush and I've just got up and looked out the caravan door and it was just a raging river everywhere here. Nearly every property along this stretch of blue water has been impacted by the floods and as residents try to start the clean-up, they're nervously watching the river, awaiting more rain predicted for this weekend. In the outer suburb of Hermit Park, water was lapping at the doorsteps. Look, I think it was a bit of shock, um, bewildered it and like, when will it stop? You can't stop it, you can't hold the water back, so just go with it. Swift water rescue crews made welfare checks while kids enjoyed their makeshift water park. I like it because it's an ocean and you can play in it and swim and play with your pool toys on it. And there'll be plenty more to come. Reporter Alison Horn is live from Townsville. Al, you've been in the thick of it. How do people there feel about the dam water release, knowing it could potentially wreck their homes? Well, Jess, I think most people here understand the need for this sort of drastic action. But in saying that, it really doesn't lessen the anxiety in such a stressful situation. Now, I'm in Railway Estate, which is one of the six suburbs that were asked to evacuate today. And as you can see, these floodwaters around me are continuing to rise. High tide is still to come. That's in about half an hour or so. It's going to be a long and stressful night for the residents here. And so what can they expect this weekend? Well, we know that the Weather Bureau is predicting up to 250 millimetres of rain could still fall across this region over the coming few days. And it's not just here in Townsville City, it's also to the north and to the south. So emergency services have a massive area to keep an eye on. Now, in saying that uh, if that rain does eventuate, then this would become the worst flooding event in Townsville's history. Alison Horn in Townsville, thank you.